For serial communication, we need a USB port which is available on the kit. We're also going to need a cable where one end is a USB-B type and the other end is going to be a USB-A type. So let's connect the USB-B to the port on the test kit and the other end, the USB-A, is going to be connected to the laptop. So let's open up the RTMS software. The Use Ethernet option has to be disabled. If it's enabled, you won't be able to get the Serial option. Then click on Device Manager to check which COM port has been assigned. So here we go. COM3 has been assigned for this. So let's click COM3 on the list and click OK. We've got a new window. Here we click on the left top corner of the window for establishing the communication. So now it has successfully communicated using COM3 which is confirmed using this a yellow colour indication in the communication tab. So let me select one voltage and inject to verify whether the kit is communicating successfully. So this reconfirms that it's working perfectly. This is the way we do successful communication using SMRT.